Honorable, let him go out. Let him leave the chamber. Justin Bedan Njoka Muturi is the seventh speaker of the National Assembly in office since 2013. He is the first speaker to serve the post following the slot of a National Assembly and the Senate according to the 2010 Constitution. Today marked the last day for Justin Muturi in office as the Speaker of the National Assembly. Muturi noted that constitutionally, his job description was to make sure that members of the National Assembly would adhere to the House standing orders and the law. Si wat, haikuwa kitu jambo la langu binafsi ya manini. Na mime kawaenda yangu, nikisha maliza hili ambao nilikuwa nafanya, kama, ilikuwa, kama sheria nasema fanya hivi, nikisha fanya hata kama ni wewe, nikisema utandikuwa viboko kada, kama ni hivyo sheria nasema, mimi nimemaliza kazi yangu, sindio? Iyo ingine wale wakaenda kunyorosha ya viboko zini wengine, mimi kazi yangu itakua kuamuru we viboko, e, ucharatu we mijeredi kiasi. When he assumed his position as the speaker, he noted that many questioned his integrity. About Justin Muturi, uh, we met in the 12th parliament. Uh, I had uh, had the occasion to interact with him, sometimes a bit closely. Uh, what I remember him is, you know, in his first election, he was a bit contested. And when we got into the house, some of us who are on the different political persuasion, we had a different view of him and we thought, you know, he would only favor people from one particular side or not. I think he was uh, very balanced in the House, except in the last few days when now he moved to Kenya Kwanzaa and the political heat had uh, taken a certain uh, direction. So, of course, emotions were high, but I think he largely steered the House uh, family. He had a firm grip. He had a very good understanding of how the House rules offered. He... He's an expert in understanding orders. Uh, he's, uh, I, I think he did a good job. Members of parliament under his leadership, praising him as one who would make sure everything was in order in the floor of the house. Na niseme, Speaker Mturi alikuwa mtu ambaye alikuwa alijitahidi sana kuleta bunge pamoja. Unajua bunge tulipokuja uh, kumi na moja, ilikuwa imesambaratika. Na wabunge wali alijaribu sana. Ya pili, Justin Muturi alikuwa ni mtu wa wabunge. Mm -hmm. Aliangalia uh, maslai ya wabunge, mm -hmm. aliakikisha kama ni miswada, miswada wa wabunge imepawa kipawambele, mm -hmm. na akakikisha wabunge uh, wamekua responsible katika ili bunge. Na latatu, he was a very firm speaker. Akichukua msimamo, ulikuwa ni msimamo. Nyali MP Muhammad Ali recalls how Justin Muturi came to his rescue most of the time. Kwa uzuri wake mimi nakumbuka alikuwa ni mtu alikuwa na hekima na subra hususan kwa viongozi sisi wapya ambao bado hatukuwa tumeelewa vile bunge inaenda. Nakumbuka kuna wakati mmoja bunge ilitaka kuniadhibu eh, kwa sababu ya kwenda kuzungumza nje na watu kama akina Junet Mbadi walikuwa wamesukumia ni niadhibiwe nikose mshahara ya kama mwezi sita hivi. Eh, lakini speaker kwa hekima yake Aliangalia kaona bado ninajifunza kukua katika bunge. Kwa hivyo hakuchukua uamuzi wa haraka na kunihukumu kwa sababu alikuwa na shinikizo na watu. Kwa hivyo mimi alikuwa na hekima fulani ya kujaribu kusaidia vijana ambao waliingia katika ilo bunge. The MPs are confident that Muturi indeed sharpened their knowledge during the 12th parliament, saying that they are ready to propose bills and defend them fearlessly and adhere to the law. Pika ambaye anaingia, ambaye bila shaka atakuwa ni Moses uh, Masika Wetangula, ni mze mwenye busara. Hikma amekuwa katika bunge eh, tangu mwaka ulfu moja miyatisa tisini na tatu, eh, na dhani nilikuwa darasa la sita amekuwa na tajriba ya uongozi katika wizara mbalimbali katika serikali ni mtu ambaye atakuja kusawazisha and one of the things he said that uh, i think still holds for me to date he told me one 
ensure you are extremely loyal to your party. Do not betray your party, do not betray your people. Even as you make friends from outside. At that time, I think he was referring to himself because he was on the Jubilee side, I was on the ODM side. He said, do not betray your party. And I said, no, I cannot betray my party. I just told him, I want you to, as my speaker, to come. And I also, he also took me through very many things. He told me, wins and losses in the political field does not mean the end of your political career. Whenever you fail, you dust yourself, lift yourself up, try and find out what are the issues that didn't go right for you. And I have seen that happen for him. I hope my next move will be uh, in a situation whereby I will participate in the, in the implementation of the many programs uh, that uh, we have committed to the people of Kenya. About uh, almost 10 years as a member of parliament, and then I've done 10 years as a speaker. Shunajua uh, Serikali kona three arms. So there is an arm of government where Justin Muturi has not been to. So uh, let's, let's, let's look that direction. Under the leadership of Justin Muturi 12th Parliament, the National Assembly has passed more than 140 out of 342 bills, with about 114 being approved to law, while 26 bills proceeded to the Senate. For Ebro TV, Amode Francis.